Allah Santa says, wa bashir is sabirin. Congratulate those who are steadfast and have resolve. Alladina ida asabatum musibatum qalu. Those who, when some sort of difficulty comes to them, they say, and what is it that the Quran tells us to say at this point? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. This is not something you say only when someone passes away, but it's something that we actually say during any sort of difficulty. Why? Because it helps to ground us and it gives us a perspective. Inna lillahi. Indeed, we belong to Allah. Why is this important? Because it reminds me that I might be feeling a loss, but Allah owns me, right? I belong to Allah. And so I don't really own anything in this life, right? How can I say I own something and therefore I lost something when everything, even I belong to Allah? So that's the first per thing, the first perspective that we have to have. The second perspective is, وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَجِعُونَ We're returning back to Allah. It reminds me to focus on the bigger picture, right? I might not be worried so much about losing a six-figure job when I'm thinking about the Akhirah. No six-figure job can buy you the Akhirah, the paradise that the Prophet ﷺ promised Sumayya and her family. No money can buy that. No status can buy that. No president or king or queen can ask Allah to give you that, right? Once you realize that, then you start to prioritize a little bit more. That thing that we were worried about might become a little less important. And pleasing Allah, keeping our faith, and moving forward and growing to, to become better servants of Allah becomes more important to us, right? So we say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Allah SWT says, those people, ula'ika alayhim, those people will have Allah's blessings and His mercy. Those are the ones who are truly guided.